All right, so yeah, this episode is definitely not for the kids. The reason I'm only doing this is because of the times that we live in, and if you are a 3D printing hobbyist or even a business, you can't really stop doing it, especially if you're a business. I've definitely been using uh, 3D printing to sell some stuff to help bridge some of that empty uh, void in my uh, monthly income, that's for sure, ever since this whole uh, new world order has gone into place. And to effectively create good prints, uh, you need to have certain materials. And a lot of it is the same consumables that people are hoarding right now uh, during these times. Uh, one of them being face masks as well as gloves. But most importantly, if you're looking for a good print, those you can fake and get by without. There's some other things that you can do. Rubbing alcohol. And this is scarce. Can hardly ever find it right now. It's completely sold out of most stores. And most stores are restricting how much you can buy, usually one bottle at a time. And they're really only putting out 70% isopropyl alcohol anyway, and you really want 99. 70 still works. Without this, you can't really clean the uh, your prints very well. What can be done about that? I have tried a lot of different things. Uh, one of them being purple power, that's real strength type of cleaner. That didn't work hardly at all. I also tried mean green. I know a lot of uh, other YouTubers are recommending that, and I would know <laughs> it really doesn't work at all uh, in my experience unless you're really hand scrubbing your parts and then throwing it into a uh, ultrasonic cleaner it still really doesn't work that well so i was left what the heck can i do well what's in uh, isopropyl alcohol alcohol that's what's in here it got me thinking vodka could it work maybe let's give it a shot so yeah, I went to my local uh, grocery store and there was plentiful amounts of alcohol. I went for the bottom shelf because, you know, this really isn't good to drink. <laughs> I got the half gallon of it after tax, about $15, $16. Again, must be 21 or older to do this trick. Fair warning, this is not for the kids. Threw this in my ultrasonic cleaner and gave it a shot. Fully expecting this to not work at all. Considering, I mean, there's only 40% alcohol in this, however, I was a little shocked at how well this actually worked. It didn't work perfectly. Not a great replacement for rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is hands down the best that I have used in my experiences for what I'm doing best in town. No contender this is. However, if you can't get this and you have to resort to something like this, I gotta say it performed pretty well. I was very shocked. I mean, there's still just a a little bit more tackiness to the prints afterwards. There's still always going to be tackiness to the prints when they come off the print bed and then go into the ultrasonic cleaner. At least in my experience, there's still some left over. But it wasn't as bad as like the other cleaners that I was uh, experimenting with and trying to find a good alternative. So I was actually pretty excited because I was able to put some stuff out. It wasn't, uh, wasn't perfect. It definitely left some residue and as you cure it, uh, it leaves this white film kind of over the prints. Uh, not bad if you're just gonna paint over it, it's perfectly fine, but since I'm selling these things, it's a hit and miss sometimes uh, with the vodka because I don't like shipping out something that looks funky, even though it's totally fine. Even if you just throw a primer over it, you know, you're fine. I don't like doing that. I like when people get their stuff, they're excited, not going like, what the heck is this? You know? So would I recommend you doing this if you're 21 and older? If you run out of rubbing alcohol, yeah, I would. And go for something that has a much more higher percentage in alcohol. Now, the next day, something weird happened in my ultrasonic cleaner with this vodka. That's weird. I lifted the lid and it's completely like gelled up in there. And it's like perfectly clear. That's so weird. Oh, that's crazy. I could filter that and drink it. I won't, JK, don't do that. That's weird though. That's crazy. I was a little shocked. I mean, over time with rubbing alcohol, after like four days or longer, if you're not using it, it everything separates and settles. The resin goes to the bottom and the, and the rubbing alcohol goes to the top. But with the vodka, it happens so much faster. So it got me also thinking, you could probably filter this out somehow to where this would actually last longer than rubbing alcohol. Who knows, maybe I'll do it in the future. If you want to see it, leave a link in the description below. So yeah, I was very, very surprised the fact that bottom shelf, cheap old vodka, uh, kind of worked. Very surprised. Hey, are you using something a little bit better as working, an alternative to rubbing alcohol? Please let me know. I want to test it out, because yeah, that's about as much as I got left. 
I know this is a weird random video. You know, we talk about toys, but we're talking about alcohol there in this video. I know it's pff, it's weird. These are the times that we live in right now. And if you want to leave a comment below, I do read every single comment there is. So let's chat. If you have any questions, I am here to help. So consider subscribing. I much appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Now, get out there. Make some awesome.